All right, guys. So welcome back once again. If you're someone new to my channel, my name is Nikhilesh, and I live here in Berlin. Today's topic is super important. If you're a parent or a student who's currently studying in tenth, eleventh, or twelfth, please make sure that you watch today's video till the end. If you have enough time, maybe you know, sit with a pen and a paper and start noting down everything because I will be going into really small details of how can you study MBBS here in Germany. MBBS as a degree is not called as an MBBS, it's called as medicine. In Germany, the entire medicine study goes on for six years, three months time. I will be going into really small details of uh, how to study, where to study, what is the application process like, what is the entire process like for MBBS here in Germany. Because the education is free, the only thing what you are spending here is on cost of living. And I think studying medicine here in Germany, we all know that most theories, most medical devices actually were manufactured here in Germany and they were invented right here. So for last three to four years, I've seen many students who have come from India. I was the one who was assisting them throughout the process. Many of them um, have already come on my channel. All in all, what I want to say is make sure that you watch today's video till the end. This is These informations were exactly the information what I shared with those students who are already enrolled in different universities across Germany through my mentorship program. All right, so I'm taking help of the presentation right here. You can download this entire presentation from the description of this video. I have embedded a lot of different links into this presentation. So make sure that you watch till the end. So many students after watching this video will have a lot of doubts. So I have embedded a link right here. So when you have this presentation, just click right here and it will take you directly to a page where you can book the appointment with me directly. Before I start, I am coming to India in June 2022. I will be traveling to roughly around 30 cities of India and then I will also be going beside India to Dubai, uh, Dhaka and Kathmandu. If you want to register yourself, uh, please go ahead and uh, you know fill out this Google form which is embedded again here in this video. Uh, on the map you can see all of these locations where I will be doing the tour. You can come to the tour. Uh, I will be talking about how to study bachelors as in, in your case MBBS here in Germany. So if you want to become part of the meetup, click right here and then uh, you know the Google form will take you directly onto that page. Also if you're someone who wants to get enrolled for the mentorship program which has helped hundreds of students to get into medical schools here in Germany. There is a, a Google form again, you can fill that Google form out and then somebody from my team in Berlin will get in touch with you and to make you understand the entire process of how to go about and how you can become part of the mentorship program. So moving ahead, this video is for students who have completed their 12th grade and will only talk about public student colleague and public universities where you can study MBBS. Now, if you're new to this term, student colleague, don't worry, continue watching. I'll explain you this point. There are multiple ways to do medicine studies here. And uh, the one which I think most people actually take it, which is after their 12th grade, make sure that in your 12th grade, you have at least 85, 90% and above if possible, uh, because the competition is really, really cutthroat. And uh, I would say that if you have that level of grades, then only think of moving ahead, at least for Germany. So let's move ahead. This is a very important point. A lot of people, when they start looking for information, they, you know, they get overwhelmed that, oh my God, what to believe? There's so much to, you know, information out there. What should I believe on? What should be my next step? I would say in that case, don't go to a consultancy because mostly consultancies will uh, put you through their way of doing things, which is going to be super damn expensive for you. There is absolute no necessity for you to do that. You can easily follow exact steps what I'm telling you because this has been followed by many students. In fact, for last three, four years, we have refined the entire process into the most budget way of doing things and the most efficient way of getting into medical schools. So don't go to any consultant, uh, even though how friendly that person was, how confidently that person spoke to you they can't help you out at least the lifestyle of me living here in Germany for so long. So don't go to any consultant. You can become part of a telegram group, which is again, the link is embedded right here. You can click here and it will take you to a telegram group only de dedicated to all the MBBS students who want to come and study here. I'll give you a quick introduction if you are a parent who's watching me for the first time. My name is Niklesh. I completed my MBA. So post completion of my education, I 
decided that I don't want to go and pursue my full time job. I want to start my own company, and that's how my company Nikshala was born, which is almost four years old now. I've been living in Germany for a little over seven seven point five years. Um, I have physically visited more than four hundred. 22 universities any university name the probability of me telling you where exactly they are is very very high so that's the credibility i bring on the table for you one of the hero products what we have designed over the past years is the mentorship program uh, in this case it's going to be for mbbs students click here directly it will take you to the website of our nikshala.com can i study my mbbs in english no you can't because everything is in german here in germany to study MBBS slash medicine. That's how it's called in German. Medicine. You have to study in German. Most of the education here for medical study is in German. Duration of MBBS in Germany. It's six years, three months. The division is preclinical is of two years, clinical is of three years, and then one year of internship. So all in all, it comprises of six years, three months. Your goal at the end of the degree is to get to approbation. That's how it's said in German. That means you're licensed to call yourself. to be a doctor here in this country so let's go to the next slide german map so these are the places where all the medical schools are there so now in comparison to engineering universities and medical schools of course they are very very less all in all at least the ones i have traveled to is about like i think 30 to 35 universities i myself have gone to where medicine is been taught here there are a total of 16 states in germany and you can see on the screen these are the places where all the medical schools are what happens after 12th grade you'll have to do one year of foundation course uh, which is going to be in german language it's called as studien kolleg before you start your mbbs in germany here in germany after you have completed your 12th grade you can't directly jump into medicine studies you have to spend one year uh, doing studien kolleg which is also called as foundation year so studien kolleg is of two semesters and that is done in m course student college and it is going to be in german so basically you study physics chemistry biology maths uh, and german language in two semesters and towards the end of student college you give a final exam it's called as festungsprofung continue to watch i'll explain you everything more in detail first things first what you have to do right now if you are sitting in india if you just gave a 12th grade and you have decided to go forward then the first thing what you should do immediately is start learning german language which should be c1 level in india the only authority who is authorized to give you a certificate is goethe just so you know that c1 is should be your target what is aufnahme prüfung to enter the studien kolleg what i have spoke about there is a entrance exam and the entrance exam is called as aufnahme prüfung to give aufnahme prüfung and clear aufnahme prüfung you should know two major things one is mathematics from your 12th grade and second is german language so these are the two factors you are basically tested upon you can study c1 in india and directly apply for student kolleg m course so in response to the application what you will do for student kolleg you will get an invitation for aufnahme prüfung which is this right here on the screen maths from 12th german language which is grammar if you are a student with no maths in 12th then you should take extra classes for this because you will have to give mathematics as a part of your aufnahme prüfung i'll go a little deep into what is student kolleg uh, which one is for mbbs uh, also uh, student kolleg is also known as foundation year or a bridge course so what the the student kolleg what you have to do is m course right here so people who want to go and study engineering they go for t course technician course but then in your case it's m course medicine course so you will study this for entire one year this definition is from technical university munich so moving from here on let's talk a bit about m course student kolleg which are the universities where you can actually study so there is a link uh, i have embedded this link will take you to a google form you fill out the details i'll ask the team to send across the details to you on your email id so let's just quickly go through m course student kolleg which are the universities all right so this is the list i was talking about in all 16 states on the left hand side you can see bundesland and then the college name is right here and then which city they are located what is their status uh, is there a university or a state exams you uh, you have to give uh, the courses this is what i was talking about they teach mt m stands for medicine t stands for 
uh, Technische W stands for Wissenschaft, which is like in uh, business studies. Uh, T stands for engineering studies and M stands for medicine studies. So what you have to see is only the M courses, wherever they are teaching M course student colleague, which is here, which is here in TU Berlin, they teach M course student colleague. So this is the entire list of student colleague across Germany, what they are teaching. Basically, just to walk you through this entire thing. So imagine that you're in 12th right now. Uh, you're still about to give your exam. The next thing what you do is study German language till C1 level. Give Aufnahme Prüfung, the entrance test for M course student colleague. And then at the end of student colleague, you will give this exam, which is called as Festelungsprüfung, which is also called as FSP. Finally, once you have done giving the FSP, this is what happens. Uh, so the 12th grades, what you have got and the FSP grades, what you have got, they both will be combined and taken an average and that is going to make your German GPA that will decide where you're getting the admission for MBBS here in Germany. For the sake of example, imagine that you got 2.5 in your 12th grade and then you scored 1.5 in your FSP, which is student colleague final exam. Your average comes down to 2.0 German GPA. Now, if you want to understand what is the scale like for German GPA, then I have embedded a link right here. It should take you on a FAU Erlangen website. When you're going to press that link, this is where you're going to land. So basically here in Germany, the, the lesser you get, the better your chances are. So one means almost out of out, four means just passed, five means failed. You can see it right here. When you scroll down from here, you can also see in pointers how much that does that mean how much uh, German GPA you got and what does that denote? All right, so moving from here on, external exam. So you have to give test AS. Test AS is nothing but an aptitude test. Most medical schools here in Germany I've seen lately that they have made this mandatory. So some universities uh, recently I got to know that they are not even considering FSP, which is student colleague final exam. They are considering test AS and your 12th score. So it is mandatory, at least for me and all my mentorship students. I always tell them that you should uh, and must give test AS exam and try to score as much as you can, possibly at least 90, 95% in test AS exam. If you want to know more about what test AS exam is, I have embedded a link right here and it should take you to their official website too. So if you're watching me from India, in India, Test AS Center is in Mumbai. You can give Test AS in both the language, in English or in German. Preferably, my suggestion would be that given German, it's gonna be better for you. IELTS is not so much mandatory, but then if you give, it shows to a professor uh, on your file that yes, uh, you also know how to speak English basically, but yeah, if it's an optional thing, it's not mandatory thing, but test AS is very, very important for you. Applications go via three platforms here in Germany. Either they can go via hochschulstart.de or via myassist or through a direct university portal. Cost of application. So when you file your application via UniAssist, which is myassist, uh, to open an account and to file the first application from my assist, it's going to cost you 75 euros. And then every other application, whether it's for directly for medicine or for student colleague, it's going to cost you 30, 30 euros. If the application is going directly to the university portal, then you don't need to pay in most cases I've seen. Uh, it's pretty much free, uh, the application uh, process cost. Moving from here on, there are two intakes here in Germany. One is in summer, one is in winter. So the deadline for winter intake is going to be 15th of May all the way. Sometimes it also goes to 15th of June, uh, which then and the course begins in the month of October. The deadline for summer intake is 15th of January. The course begins in the month of April. Medical universities. I'm quickly going to show you medical universities. The link what I've embedded again will take you to a Google form. If you want to have access to the medical universities, you have to fill out a Google form and then somebody from my office will send across these details to you on your email ID. How much is it going to cost you when it comes to medicine studies here in Germany? In my 
introduction i said in germany there is total of 16 states in 15 states uh, the semester contribution is between 250 euros all the way till 450 euros per semester if you have as i said your mbbs study is going to be of 6 years that means 12 semesters so 12 semesters multiplied by so basically 12 multiplied by 250 is what you will pay for your medicine studies as a tuition fees that 16th state where they charge 1500 euros per semester is the state called as baden württemberg stuttgart is the capital of this particular state any university which falls under this state people have to pay 1500 euros per semester so 12 semester course which is 6 years so 12 multiplied by 1500 is what you will pay as a tuition fees for mbbs studies here in germany subjects i have embedded a link let's just go on to this link and see what are the subjects what you'll get to study now if you talk about subjects the entire process of studying medicine which is of 6 years 3 months is divided into uh pre clinical clinical and then the internship which is where you know after that you get your approbation uh here in germany which is the license to be a doctor uh you can go over this document um everything is so clean and crystal clear for you uh and you this will also give you an understanding whether you want to go study in human medicine or you want to specialize yourself into other areas so moving from here on next is blocked account So if you're new to this term blocked account is nothing but a uh, cost of living to get a student visa from India let's say you have to block 10400 or 10300 euros in a german account there is a process there are a couple of companies i have mentioned right here coracle or fintiba you can jump onto their websites directly from here by clicking on this uh, link right here and uh, blocked account is basically nothing but cost of living so that 10300 divided by 1 year which is 12 months uh, that roughly comes around 850 to 900 euros per month is what you will spend on your cost of living which is your accommodation food uh, a health insurance and miscellaneous cost so usually in my understanding living here for last 7 years 7.5 years i don't or i have not seen anyone spending 800 euros uh, you know in their entire month this is a official requirement by the government this amount will be blocked in a german account so yeah jump onto these websites and they should get your job done so cost of studying mbbs here in germany uh, i've put up a disclaimer these are just estimations often times i've seen people working for their cost of living making it at least 800 euros per month by doing a part time job in hospitals or in a healthcare facilities so these are just estimations so cost of living let's say i have 10300 euros for one year i have multiplied that by 7 years so one year of student colleague plus 6 years of mbbs equals to 72100 euros is what you're spending for last for next 7 years i have to tell you at this point i have seen a lot of students they only come prepared with one or two years of cost of living for the remaining years they actually work here and uh, they are able to manage on one side their education and on the other side their part time job which is paying all their bills so mostly i have seen people who study medicine they only work in hospitals that also gives them a lot of experience so for a sake of example i have taken tuition fees uh, which is semester contribution of 300 euros per semester for 6 years which is 12 semester so 12 multiplied by 300 almost comes up to 3600 euros so if i make an addition which is 72100 plus 3600 euros comes up to total of 75700 euros what you're basically spending for a german medicine degree now students in india i have seen that they take two types of visa one either they apply for prospective student visa which is for coming and giving their entrance exam which is aufnahme prüfung or they apply for stu- uh, student visa directly in most cases people who have done 12th and are flying to germany to give their aufnahme prüfung exam after they have completed their c1 level of german which is from goethe institution in india then they have to apply for prospective student visa you can check this category it's on their website 
Nikshala mentorship program students currently studying in studying MBBS these are some of the universities where some of my students are actually studying right now they went through an entire mentorship program um, which was helping them throughout the entire process whether you talk about uh, which platforms to apply from what documents to collect what about the my timeline uh, what about student colleague program what about your student colleague universities how is that particular city what is the application process like how do I go about visa process what happens when you land here so these are some of the advantages what people were able to avail out of this mentorship program and eventually the end goal of the mentorship program is to get you into the medical school here in germany so these are some of the places where students are currently studying right now and uh, i think a couple of students have taken their interview already on my channel right here so moving on to the next slide, these are the three universities here in Germany uh, who are approved by MCI, formerly, you know, we used to call them MCI, Medical Council of India, now it's called as NMC. So NMC has approved three universities from uh, Germany and you have to go to India and give NEXT exam, which stands for National Exit Test for Foreign Medical Degrees. Uh, previously, this exam used to be called as foreign medical graduate exam. This exam can give you license to practice in India or even further go and study the PG, which is MD studies can be done. So one last slide, which is salary and job. So I have included a link right here, which will take you to a website called as gehalp.de. This is where it'll give you an understanding of how much salary you can expect. On average, the monthly salary is around 5,800 euros, which is a starting salary going all the way to 11,200 euros uh, per month. Doctor is the highest paid profession in this country and also the most required profession. So basically, if you come here for studies, um, job is almost certain, you know. So you can come to this website, you can change this to per year and on an average annual salary, what you can expect is at least 72,000 euros, uh, going all the way to 140,000 euros. So these are just estimations on this website. You can also see uh, where the positions are open, what company is that, which location, when was this uploaded? And on the right hand side, right here, you get to see the uh, salary by month or by year. Usually students who study here, they get 18 months of job search visa. and when you actually study uh, medicine studies here, pretty much the job is almost certain because the internships where you're doing is the same place where you get uh, the job offered. So getting your approbation, which is the license, uh, is very, very important and make that as early as possible. There are some important links I have embedded here in this presentation. You can jump onto them and have a little bit more deeper understanding and give a quick read. So. This is all from my side when it comes to MBBS here in Germany.